So welcome to BMF Best Math Friends. The first thing I'm going to do is turn off the music. You can do that by just clicking on the note up here. So this is a really fun and useful game for kindergartners and first and second graders learning math word problems. Let me show you how it works. You simply click play and you'll see all of these animals come. So the idea is sort of like a, like a, a little social media. You, you click on one of the animals and a word problem will be narrated. So let's click on this one. The red Cameron one. has nine more books than Ella. If Ella has six books, how many books does Cameron have? So the answer here is 15. So I type in 15 and I click the check. It says I'm correct and I continue. And you can see I can click where it says see all friends. And I've made the red panda is my friend. So let's go again. Let's close out of this. And let's click on the goat here. Jason has five letters in his name. His friend Hope has four letters in her name. How many letters in total are in both of their names? And if I want to hear that again, if I, I can click this, this reload button and I'll be able to hear this um, word problem narrated again. So if I accidentally put the wrong number in and try to check it, it says incorrect. I can continue or I can try again. Jason has five letters in his name. His friend Hope has four letters in her name. How many letters in total are in both of their names? So I know that's nine. So I click check. And now I have both the goat and the uh, red pan as a friend. Now watch this. Let's do the giraffe here. Camille won five tickets from the video game. Her brother won eight more than her. How many tickets did Camille's brother win? So one of the tools on the game is a scratch pad. So if I click up here, I can still see the, the word problem through the scratch pad, but I can say, okay, Camille won five. So let's, let's put five here, five circles, and her brother won eight more than her. So let's add eight more, one, two, three, and this just helps kids sort of visualize, um, visualize the answer. And I find, okay, so I count them all up now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So um, I click out of here, I click 13, and I click check. So now I have three. I can always see all of my friends. And let's say um, you ran out of time. You can actually um, quit this game and still print out a certificate. So let's say I ran out of time and I click quit. It says I'm awarded with a bronze medal for having three correct answers. And here's where the kids can print out a pretty cool uh, certificate. If I see see friends, it's going to show me the face of all my friends that I made. And I can print it out. There's 25 total friends that can be made. So you can play this game for a long time. There are 25 different word problems at any given time. And each time you play the game, you'll see a different set of word problems. It randomly pulls word problems from a pool. As you can see, this is a really good game um, for young students who are seeing story problems or word problems for the first time. Um, you may or may not be able to read them, so there's narration, there's a scratch pad, um, and it's also a fun environment um, where students can earn their animal friends. Um, it's perfect uh, for you know, maintaining academics over the summer also.